everyone, I'm Alfred, and I'm a little sick today, but don't mind that. Um, welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes, playing this one called Ziggurat. Gotta say, kind of problematic to get this up and running. This is a thing where uh, it runs in windowed, but only kind of. So I can't actually open it. Which is fine. All right, time to start test manager. Yada yada, backstory, backstory. Uh, the whole thing is. Pretty boilerplate. There's a dungeon. People don't get out of it. Okay. Now, please. Start a new game. All right. For some reason, I didn't get my specs on. Got Karina. And Argo. No weaknesses. And an apprentice who does her homework. The magic wand has unlimited energy, but it's the weakest weapon. Look, the halls of despair. Oh, man. Oh, shit. It's like Doom. Minions. Okay, now this looks like Binding of Isaac. I think it's the pit in the middle of the floor. Let's try this. Oh boy. So that's like a machine gun? Okay. Really pretty. Uh, I got this on Steam for a sale. Will say, um, this looks pretty fantastic. I was really interested in it just uh, before it came out. What are those dodos? That's pretty cute. I might end up playing more of this than uh, one episode. Got a couple of blank spots in the, uh, in the lineup. And Lord knows that I love my FPS. really having to get my doom fingers going as well. Hey, I've reached level two. What button is that? U for upgrades. Okay, choose wisely. Increase the staff mana or recover mana at the beginning of each battle. That's kind of irrelevant. So yeah, this is a uh, randomly generated portal key. Summon the guardian on this floor. Oh, it's a boss key. Interesting. What are those carrots? I'm being mobbed by carrots, y'all. This is bananas. They have such a human voice, that's kind of freakish. 
I gotta say, kind of reminiscent of Heretic in that it's a first person shooter, but it's medieval. So, like, all your shit is all wands and stuff. Yeah, this game is probably what, like, a, uh, a remake of Heretic would look like. I always wanted to make a sequel to Heretic. For those who don't know, um, Heretic was a Doom, like, it's essentially a, uh, Doom full conversion, which is to say a mod that, uh, completely remixes the entire game. Uh, but it was released as a full game. It's called Heretic, and it's essentially Doom, except it's all, like, medieval Dark Age shit. Very image comics-y. For some reason, it has a lot of jumping puzzles, but the main meat of it is that uh, you do big, uh, big combats in first person. There's a little melee combat, but not a whole, whole lot. Um, most of it is like you have wands or magic swords that launch energy beams and the like. Gotta say, your speed is amazing. I don't know if anyone's aware of how fast Doom Guy actually is, but Doom Guy is crazy fast. Mm-hmm. Got a Lorva. So yeah, it's a, a pain in the ass to get at actually recording. I imagine that's not crafted for OBS. Maybe that'll be changed in the patch. Really, really good color scheme too. The graphics are pretty kick ass. Yeah, this is um this is a a, a Steam game that you buy it on, which means that it has a much more official. Jeez, I'm not going up this. It has a little more official of a uh, release than most games, because like uh, Infra Arcana is the most recent one I talked about, where it's just like it's a guy and it's, they spent just throwing things together. Knowledge guns give you more experience, potions give you more health. I haven't even seen a potion. As far as I know, um, I've for some reason neglected to put my glasses on, so I'm uh, pretty blind, actually. My eyesight is, uh, you know, getting worse and worse without my glasses. Um, though I've given some thought to uh, trying to go without them and maybe improve my specs. See, your, your character's speed is prodigious. It really reminds me of uh, Classic Doom, where Doom Guy's speed, like, people timed it. Doom Guy's speed is like 58 miles an hour. He blah. Okay. Oh, wait, this is full again. Oh, geez, those home, don't they? Oh, God. Yeah, I, I should have seen that coming. Normally, I'd cut here and use my cool little art assets, but uh, in this case, I won't. Oh, wow. That's pretty rad. You're dead. Cool. Amulet of the Erudite. Okay. Let's try Karina. Huh. Halls of Despair. The water tech is pretty good. So it looks like you always get your secondary weapon. Prison cells, slower enemies. Oh, that's like a sh yeah, that's a shotgun right there.
Whoa. Oh, so the three slot is just whatever goes there. So for the other guy, he got a uh, he got a different wall. Kate would probably love this game. I know Kate digs some roguelikes, and like she would probably really appreciate the magic uh, the magic shit of it. Like if I know Kate, Kate would rather be a wizard than anything else on the planet, including a whatever the hell her degree is. In. I never know what people's degrees are in, I'm a bad friend. <laughs> Gotta say, this uh this jump sound effect does sound like a boar. Like whoar! You know? Like you've just been kicked in the gut. You feel your Taco Bell coming back up on you. Let's see if we can flank them. That was stupid. I've been playing XCOM recently. I should really finish one of my other LPs, though. And boy, howdy, hey, who? I've got a lot of them. Anyway, uh, the reason I bring that up is because Flanken's on my mind. So getting close means that they'll absorb more of the blast. But it also puts you at greater risk for getting damaged. See, I would love a melee weapon. The difficulty isn't too great, um, in that it's not huge. Um, as for the balance, I think the difficulty is actually pretty good. Sorry, yeah. Whoa. What the hell? Yeah, so the, normally the, the reason that one has melee weapons in a FPS, especially one of this variety, is because it's an emergency weapon. I, however, love, um, like, melee weapons in first-person shooters. Uh, you'll probably have seen me play uh, Halo recently and gush about how much I love all that shit. Oh, you're up here. So yeah, her wand is more like a... Uh, more like a machine gun. SMG, I guess. I haven't seen enemies repeated. Like, I haven't seen those skeletons yet. For a second time, I mean. There might have been some, but aforementioned glasses and uh, all. Pretty decent levels. Um, I know it's, like, randomly generated, so, like... That's kind of difficult to pick. You know, to say, like, oh, this random generated level is good. The generation four levels are good. Those were uh, those were uh, damage orbs I just leapt into, not items as I suspected. Really should have my specs on, but you know, as I said, I don't. Oh, there is a door. Oh, it just links back to here. That's pleasant. Green moon staves 50% damage. Everything else loses damage. Yeah, the thing about having a, you know, random generated levels, the thing about random generated levels is that you can't do really clever things with the levels. And you know, if you if you do, then it's just luck that it happened. You cannot reliably have clever things happen with the levels.
But yeah, the, uh, the level system is it's pretty decent. Boss key. Seriously, that jump sound is notorious. So this is where I spawned in. Okay, boss key. Gun car, the crusher, mighty warlord. Oh boy. So he spawns the, the laughing witches. Got a big old melee hit. Shit, man. And he also bonks you big and good with his uh, with his big jumps. Skipping through it. Snap attacks are fast and precise, but have lower damage output. No one has ever questioned the power and skill of the noble wizard's Greyhorn. In the harsh ziggurat test, no one has imagined to escape with all the lathe intact. One can only imagine what can be inside this puzzling labyrinth to stop anyone from getting out. You don't have enough mana to make an offering to the Elder Gods. Divine indifference. Energy obtained from gems is lower, but you recover... Okay. Interesting. Flatulency. Toxic enemies. If he's good. I'm gonna ruin my D key, I'm thinking. So yeah, you can't go through the doors because that'd be too easy. So we got we got double crack doors going on, and I either neglected to or failed to pick up. Oh yo, they're getting the drop on me. It appears that you have infinite sprint, which is again pretty typical for a shooter of this type. This is a very classic shooter. Like this feels like Doom. My, my comparison to Heretic is not just superficial because of the magical aesthetic. Like, it feels like Doom does. It feels... It's very, very fast-paced. Nice. The way that your, uh, kind of bank, when you go left and right, see the screen tilt there, that, uh, reminds me of... I think Wake does that. Druid or... Why not level up quicker? Okay, let's backtrack and see if I missed my thing. I'm thinking I did. So as I mentioned, I'm a little sick right now, so I'm uh, failing to talk as much as I should or could. Frozen's that's a really cool animation. And this is the boss room. Okay, cool. So it looks like it's wet again. So to me that says it'll be slimesman. Oh, and that's the blue mana. So blue is So blue was ice. So the And that means two is spellbook. Green mana is staff. I imagine orange mana is going to be like the equivalent to like a rocket launcher. Oh, there it is. I want to try to level up more or maybe get more weapons. Because if it works like I think it does, then the theory is that you dump on uh, you dump on the boss with your basic shit. Actually, these guys and the other slime are blue. The king's the king block. 
So maybe there's a elemental affinities to take into account as well. So for projectile fools, these are fantastic. Yeah, I certainly want to hit level three. All right, ring a ding ding. Or slimes. Okay, I'm seeing these guys. I imagine these guys are meant to be like a Goomba or something. You know, this this is your goblin, this is your rat. I'm getting ganged up on. Oh, I jumped in, dude. How, did he leave me? Is that possible? Let's try this out, actually. We haven't. Really slow. That's a shotgun. Yeah, it is really slow, but that is pretty cool. Spell. Okay, so yeah, it's spell alchemy. Interesting. Well, we only have this, so we may as well. Oh, yeah, look at that. This is technically an indie game, but as I've mentioned, in uh, I think I've talked about this in the past. The line between indie game and otherwise are getting 28 health to the other gods. Don't know about that. Yeah, the line between indie games and hatchery small enemies. Indie games and regular games are getting very, very blurry. Because, like, Darkest Dungeon and XCOM are very similar games. I mentioned because Darkest Dungeon is uh, something else. Okay, I mentioned XCOM because of the reason I already mentioned. Uh, I was actually looking over my list of, like, what could I play? And uh, Darkest Dungeon is one. I don't know if I'll play Darkest Dungeon, but, you know. Ooh, boy. Yeah, XCOM is technically um, like a triple A game because it's Fire Axis. And Darkest Dungeon is an indie game, but like the lines between those are getting more and more blurred each passing like a year of game video games. What is this? Okay. Oh, so that concentrates and shoots a weaker blast. Carrots? What? God. Oh, there's shit on the wall. So if I stay in the corners, I will technically be fine. I really like the reticule. It's very, it's very obvious. It's very clear. But yeah, those are just continual. But yeah, they come out of the hole. I would love to find a potion of some variety. Tab. Might be able to hear Rat Boy in the living room yelling at video games. Is this? No, okay, lost. This way. Can't strafe while sprinting. And we do well to remember that. This is where I found the portal piece. The other one is where I put it down. Right. 
Oh no, this is the boss room. Blob. Bring it in. There you go. Oh boy, this is fucking Don Maki shit. Probably should clear out the ads, don't wanna, wanna focus the boss. Getting impatient. Now I'm hoping this is a case where if I kill him, everyone will die. It looks like the boss degrades over time. Yep, there it is. Oh, wow. Big money. Uh, restores half of your maximum health points. I'll take... Wait, I just left Was that worth it? Level clear. Took me ten minutes. Wow. Uh, eight, seven, five attacks. 10. That wasn't at all what that said. 1087. Uh, I like the leaves right next to all that. Firestorm grenade. So that'll be the... Uh... Yeah, that's the alchemy. Okay. So like I, I as I suspected, this appears to be a big whammy. Portal cube right away, huh? Well, I'm level four. Alchemy. <laughs> hey, it's the skeleton. How you doing, buddy? I love a good skeleton in an RPG, you know? Their institution, just as much as goblins, rats, uh, anything else, are. Don't clear out the rats in this room, in this room, you know? So it looks like killing dudes with whatever can actually spawn the items that you need to fuel it. These guys are red and blue, I wonder why. These things remind me of that, uh, those, those bird, oh shit, the, those bird enemies from that Looney Tune. So the map is pretty rudimentary. It only shows, um, like, the layout of rooms and stuff. I mentioned because I got backed up into a corner because, uh, I was like, yeah, it was against this thing, and I thought I had more room to go, but it doesn't actually show on the map. Um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Wowzers. Yeah, let's do that. That isn't bad. I've, uh, I've mentioned on the show before that I like regeneration stuff. Like, uh, I really like the, the vampire build. In, uh, I really like the vampire build in uh, Rogue Legacy. Yeah, I've been in this room before. This is where I first fought those, uh... Demon Man. So I noticed that the orb that he dropped fell forward, which I think might be a thing to make sure that your loot will always fall within the stage, so you can always be sure you're going to get the loot you get from killing an enemy. And that, I must say, is fantastic. Yeah. 
Yoda with a gun. That's what that enemy is right there. You heard it here first, folks. So I'm really hoping that I'm going to get a... Uh, or maybe it's just random. Because I have a lot of green, and I don't have a green staff. You're, I, I don't have a staff. Which, uh, I, if I recall, draw. So this is the wand. Two is the spell. Four is alchemy, and three is staff. See, a spell is going to be a book in your hand. Wand is going to be... Wand is just a wand. Oh, it freeze! It froze him. That's cool. Also, I like that freezing works like it does in Mortal Kombat 1, which is to say when you freeze someone, they are there in the place where they're frozen. It's like, hey, they're frozen. They can't move. What if they're falling? Oh, they're, they're frozen there, too. Just shut up. Don't worry about it. Go to hell. Oh, it highlights them. That's actually really useful. Since I've got these guys pretty, uh, pretty pinned down over here, I may as well just cheese them out with this thing. Getting that, uh, getting that thing that leveled me up is really, really lucky. Or leveled me up quicker, I should say. I really like crashing through barrels. I wonder if barrels have a purpose or if they're just set dressing. Is this the boss room? Okay. Whoa. Okay. So a ziggurat is a term for a specific type of pyramid found in ancient Babylon, I believe. Okay, more minions. Those are golems, which I believe, according to a loading screen, explode upon death. They shoot a little, a little spread. Those golems definitely explode upon death. That would make sense. Sense, yeah. Did you guys remember that uh, really interesting Bloodborne enemy, the Brain of Smenses? Last week I made some pork. Um, It looks like there is elemental affinities because ice killed them right quickly. Move this a little closer to my mouth. Apologies if the uh, game audio has been too loud. It's because I'm not talking into my microphone. The audio is perfect. I'm just an idiot. Unless the audio isn't perfect, but in that case, it's because of this game's weird recording settings. Oh, they split upon death. Interesting. Nice. Okay. And then everyone else is over there. Let's cheese this guy. I like your, uh, I, I enjoy the character's hitbox. It's very reliable. Level six. God damn. War cry or a staff man? I don't even have a staff, so. So now I'm doubling down on re uh, recovering shit. Yeah, I've got two ranks of war cry. Interesting. Got soul wand, firestorm grenade. Present soul. Cool. And it looks like this leads to. Uh huh. A unique enemy 
called the Obelisk. Multiple Obelisk. I'm thinking that that's uh, the way to go with them because they're all hard and icy. And this is uh, exploding and fiery. Okay, so that's one of them down. Fantastic music, I do want to say. Let's get that thing in the end zone, huh? Whoa, whoa. Not what I expected. It looks like there's a third one slumming around in here somewhere. There it is. So because it doesn't say minions on the screen, I imagine... Oh, God. That was stupid. I imagine this might be a case where... Um, upon killing the uh, obelisks... I will get... All of them will just die. Which would be pretty fantastic. However, I don't know if that counts for XP, so... Why not just blitz them all, huh? And yeah, that was a potion also. And I can't even pick that up in full. A load of hoops. Okay, no, okay. Damn, I was hoping. I'm really hankering for a staff, gotta say. Like, in a roguelike where you have a moveset, but also have to unlock a moveset, the times before you get that, absolutely go. Like, you can see in my Rogue Legacy video, um, when I do a fresh start of Rogue Legacy, like, starting without the air dash, and, uh, or without a double jump, or any of that shit, oh, it's a drag, it's, it's drag, like, it's so... It feels so bad to, like, start without a... The fact that there's two of you is really irritating, I will say. You appear to be weaker, though, so I'm gonna... Come on! This is a real long haul. I guess I can expect this from the, uh, the higher, the higher dungeon tiers. Anyway, last week I made pork, and this week, it's currently Tuesday. Um, don't know why I need to share that, but man, I don't know. Uh, my wife turned it into pork ramen, so I'm kind of excited to get that. It's a very oily broth. Probably off for me, but like, damn. Sure, it feels tasty, though. That was really clutch right there, I will say. And this dead ends. It looks like this spits out back to this room. It do. Boss room. Cool. Inv... God's name is happening. Hey, I'm level seven though. <laughs> See, I want to take my upgrade, but I don't know if it'll pause the game. And if I die, that'll suck. God, this is really disorienting. This sucks, man. I was having such a good dungeon run. Okay, there's another one. Howl. All right.
Let's go with Vigilant. God damn, that sucked. Hated that. Aw, oh, man. Fucked up the timing. Fireworks, eh? Looks like there's only these two big fellas for now. Oh, they explode. Okay, I'm beginning to see why uh, only two guys is uh, not necessarily a thing that goes in my favor. The good news is that I've technically only lost five health because of my regeneration. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, motherfucker. Oh, there's more. That high chance of uh, freezing a dude is real good. This uh, shotgun ice book, which is a fantastic sentence that I should, I should get to say that more often. That is an absolutely fantastic power. We should all aspire to its greatness. All right. I still can't pick up these goddamn mother hubbard. Uh, okay. Let's get the chicken shit out of here. I want to grab this last little room here. Because I really want the goodies that may be contained within. Kids, don't let your friends let's play that classes. A loot box? Whoa. I thought it was just a loot box. I love hucking a grenade directly into some fool's face. In-game and IRL. So they, it looks like these are these guys are really good at leading their target because I keep having issues with them leading me, which is to say shooting where I'm going to be, not shooting where I am. Which means that on them I got to be serpentine and change directions, which uh, that could be a real problem. Triple kill. I was really clean. Okay. So I guess that was it for uh, goodies. Where does this lead? This is just the spawn, I think. Yeah, the, the speed that your character runs at is absolutely f smashing. Like, you want to talk about moving at a decent clip. Like, I feel like I'm running, like, 60 miles per hour. This guy could probably outrun a bullet. Okay, let's party. Queen Amanda, the forgotten soul. ABS, you'll always be shooting. Okay, there I changed directions in the hit. That was unfortunate.
And again. Oh, they're hovering over purple. Does that mean that I should be shooting them with purple? Should I use whatever purple is like strong against? Man, I don't want to die here, but I don't know if I have a choice. I mean, there's always a choice, but like, I don't know if I have the skill to not. I'm just gonna shut up and See, I opened my mouth to talk about how I was shutting up, and I died. Oh man. Eagle Staff. Death Pact. That's what it's been. All right. Let's take a look at the daily challenge. So you can go to the challenges. Armory. So these are just all the upgrades. Curse. Bestiary. Wow. This is granular. Orc, huh? Um, Hall of Fame. Blisters popping. Ew. Level 76. That's kind of amazing. Um, let's see if I've unlocked the class. Well, that is... Actually, this is, uh, this has been Ziggurat. Uh, very, very good game. Very solid, very enjoyable. Um... The recording issues are more of just a me thing. Uh, I don't think that anyone else should have that problem. Um, but yeah, very, very good game. If your PC can run it and you can pick it up on Steam for, uh, for sale, I would say that it is extremely worth it. Uh, otherwise, if you really like roguelikes and very classic shooters, such as Doom, uh, then I would say pick it up even if it isn't on sale. But yeah, uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes, and that was Ziggurat. Uh, thanks for coming by. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.